Now, Ashley, we do have some traffic makers not in the Savannah metro area, but down south, you can see that very thick fog. Take a look at Wayne County over into McIntosh, up into Long Liberty. Look, we've got some thick fog that is less than a mile of visibility going along with it. So don't get in a rush if you're in the south and even up in the northwest part of the area as well. Now, the reason we got that fog, we got calmer conditions outside. You may have seen a little bit of rain yesterday and cooler temperatures. Most of us waking up in the mid to upper 60s. We got a few 70s outside. We're going to climb quickly, though, even though we're starting a little bit cooler. We're going to see those temperatures getting back into the mid 80s through the afternoon. You're also going to see the sunshine today, even though we do have that chance for a stray shower this morning. It's primarily going to just be this morning and those stray showers. They are coming ahead of major changes in our forecast. This right here is going to be your big weather maker. Now today it's not going to affect you too much. Things will get breezy this afternoon as it does approach, but by tomorrow morning you are going to be feeling a lot crisper when you head out the door. Now those scattered shower chances, like I mentioned, it's only at a 20% because our chances are very light ahead of that front. The sun's going to pop out today. Things will get warm. They'll get sticky again by five o'clock this afternoon. You're going to notice those clouds thickening and then here it comes. There is that front. It pushes through through the course of the evening and when it does that wind's going to start coming out of the northwest and like I said, it will end up a little bit breezy at times. So if you were thinking about heading out to football tonight, you need to know that it's going to stay warm and sticky, especially if you're out at Benedictine going over to Appling County. It'll be warm and sticky in the mid 80s this afternoon and then as that front comes in, it's going to start to get breezy and it will cool down quickly. By this weekend, we're going to go from feeling sticky the next couple of days back to comfy and downright pleasant. It is a fantastic fall forecast, folks. We're going to see those temperatures getting into the 50s, not only tonight, but Sunday morning as well. The whole weekend is fall like Ashley. Daytime highs tomorrow topping out at 73. That's where some folks are waking up right now. That's going to be our high tomorrow. Short lived, unfortunately. We're back into the upper 70s for Sunday. And then that little break we're getting to give the air conditioner. Yeah, it's not going to last long. We're back into the 80s with overnight lows close to 